Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 26200.5562 in version 24H2, of course. This is pretty much the same build as the latest build for the beta channel, so I'm not going to go and do two different videos. I'm only going to do this video so that you know that this video also applies to the latest build for the beta channel, which is the build 26120.3872. So in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, talking about new Copilot Plus PCs features and AI features, of course, we have some new text actions and click to do, which are practice in reading coach and also read with immersive reader. For additional information, of course, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post and also finding photos saved in the cloud via the the Windows search box is now available for Windows Insiders in the European economic area. Now talking about features for everyone, we have some new voice access improvements which are pretty interesting and I'm going to show them to you. Of course, if you open our voice access, this will be the interface. What is new in this update? Well, if you go to settings, you have this new button, add to vocabulary, and then you can add words to vocabulary. You can insert the word that you need improvement in dictation, right as you'd like to be written when recognized. I think this is a pretty nice feature. And also inside quick settings, if you go and click on access they're also adding the voice access toggle that it can turn on or off from right there. I think that is pretty useful. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft is starting to roll out the change so that when you launch File Explorer folders from outside of File Explorer, for example, from an app or the desktop, by default, they will now open in a new tab if you have an existing File Explorer window. If you'd prefer that they continue opening in a new window, you can change this in File Explorer folder options in the general tab and then browse folders. And you have here two options to open each folder in the same window or open each folder in its own window. I think this is a nice change. Related to widgets, Microsoft is also beginning to try out some improvements to the notification settings page and widgets on Windows 11 by introducing the ability to control the notification per feed or dashboard. This change is currently rolling out to Windows Insiders in the European economic area. Inside Windows Security, Microsoft is beginning to roll out a change in the app where they will show more details such as manufacturer and manufacturer version for Pluton TPM chips if your PC has one under device security and then security processor details. Microsoft is also updating the dialogue for renaming your printer in the settings app, of course, inside Bluetooth and devices, then printers and scanners. And then if you go to a random printer, then go to additional printer settings. You have here the rename your printer option. You click on rename. This is the new dialogue, which is now matching the Windows 11 design principles and also the Windows theme, as you can see right now is set to dark mode. Also another change when running the PNP util slash enum drivers command, Microsoft is adding a new field that enumerates driver package catalog attributes indicating the driver type and if the driver is attestation signed. There's also a new feature that was discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com related to snipping tool. So in the latest versions for the dev channel, if you open the snipping tool and you have, for example, a text document, let's start to write something in here. This is the tech based YouTube channel, we're going to have this new option, which is text extractor, which is basically a new feature that doesn't require a screenshot to be taken. And you just can click on it and then it will automatically extract the text from here. And then you can click on copy all text as you can see without needing to make a screenshot. Then we can paste our text in here. As you can see, this is pretty, pretty good. So for this to work, of course, you have to make sure that you are at least on the version 2503.27. As you can see, we already have a newer version, so you should be good to Go. Now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. First of all, related to the start menu, I saw fix an issue which was causing start menu to crash when creating folders recently for some insiders. And they also mitigated an issue after the last flight where if you press the Windows key to open a start and start typing to search, focus was not transferred to search and so your search wouldn't work. Related to windowing, Microsoft fixed an issue where the colors of the snap layouts that appear at the top of the screen were displayed correctly for some insiders, making some text unreadable. Related to search on the taskbar, Microsoft mitigated an issue causing search to load very slowly, sitting at a black screen for 15 or 20 seconds for some people recently. Related to input, they fix an issue where voice typing wouldn't start from the touch keyboard when using the Chinese simplified narrow layout. Related to the task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue causing search and other options such as filtering in the task manager to not work in the previous flight. Related to voice access, they fix an issue which could cause voice access to freeze with error working on it when dictating. We also have some general fixes, for example, they mitigated the issue causing some apps like Spotify to not install from the Microsoft 
Microsoft Store with a ZOX 800 732 error and they also fixed an issue causing the previous slide on the dev channel to fail to install with the error ZOX 800 703 06 for some insiders and also some other fixes mitigated an underlying issue which was leading to third-party screen readers to not work in certain scenarios such as navigating browsers for some insiders after the last slide and they also did some work to improve the performance of loading early boot UI including the BitLocker pin, BitLocker recovery key and boot menu screens. Now let's talk about a few known issues in this build for example a known issue related to Windows Sandbox if you have it enabled of course on your system Windows Sandbox may fail to launch with a ZOX 800 705 B4 error if you hit this you can try reinstalling Sandbox by unchecking the Sandbox under turn Windows features on or off to uninstall it then reboot go back to turn Windows features on or off and check Windows Sandbox to reinstall it and reboot again. There's also a known issue related to the start menu Microsoft is investigating reports that clicking on your profile picture isn't opening the account manager for some insiders after the last flight. So this is pretty much the latest build for the dev channel 26200.5562 of course you can use the chapters or the timestamps that I provided in the description below to jump through features and of course you can check out the article below the official Microsoft blog post or even phantom of earth on twitter or x.com for some ways to enable some of these features that are slowly rolling out in this build. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.